ladies and gentlemen, got a little bit of something, something. You guys are on the Bluetooth speaker until um, we can get that audio taken care of. It is the system that doesn't like the different connections for audio, and so I'll work it out eventually. Just wanted to, this is um, LM Studios. This is the AI software, and what I'm downloading, these things are, <laughs> these things are hefty. Uh, four gigabytes for one, three gigabytes for the other, and three gigabytes for the other. So that's the whew, weight of these items. With that being said, uh, it's going to take at least an hour for the last one to take care of itself. And that's only because of all the other things I have going on this computer. When I bought this computer, I literally got a GPU, not knowing what a GPU was at the time. Just knew that it was the next thing that I was going to be needing. Turns out, if you really want to get the full effect of these LLMs, you have to have a GPU. Well, I happen to have a GPU. And I ended up being able to upgrade and all of that stuff, so I have what I need to get it. There is more than enough space on this computer. We're talking about almost 30 terabytes. Just on, there's five terabytes on the hard drive. And then we have another five terabyte hard drive, and we have five more terabyte hard drives. So yeah, we we have enough space on here. Now I wanted to talk. I did a video talking about the calendar and why is the calendar wrong? Because many people don't recognize the Jewish calendar, the original Jewish calendar, not that junk that they're doing now. Those are not the Jews, the original Jews people that are in Israel right now. They're not going by the actual scriptures they're going by junk that that was changed years ago the jews the original ones they followed the law the torah the first five books of the bible as i show in that video they were supposed to commemorate the passover at the appointed time every year the first month of nisan which is the first month of the jewish calendar at that full moon, the very first full moon. Well, the problem is the full moon didn't happen on the same day every year because of the way our calendar works. So that's why the very first month, that first full moon was never on the same day. It's not like your birthday is always going to be on this day. That's why you pay attention. Sometimes your birthday is on a Monday, the next year it's on a Tuesday, the next year it's on a Wednesday, the next year it's on a Thursday. It's not always going to be on the same day, and the full moon is not always going to be on the same day. Go look at your calendar. And the Passover, remember, they were able to travel at night because they were able to see, because the moon light, plus they had the pillar of fire leading their way. So. The Passover is always on the first full moon of spring, the very first full moon. Sorry, it's just the way it is. It's never going to change until they stop the Passover, and eventually it's going to stop. As Paul says in the 11th chapter of Corinthians, until the Lord arrives. So it will happen until that point, and then after that, no more Passover. There will be no more reason for it. All right. That was tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and I explained in the video about the 70 weeks of years, but I said 70, 7 plus 62 equals 70. No, it's 69 plus the added week, which is 70 weeks of years. So 69 plus another week, that week of the Messiah where he would be cut off in the middle of the half week. So the Messiah appeared not when he was born. Everybody thinks the Messiah appeared when he was born in the manger and all of that. No, that's not when the Messiah appeared. Messiah appeared when he was baptized. That's when he became the Christ. Before that, he was just called Jesus, the Nazarene, just called Jesus then Joseph. That's all he was called. But when he was baptized and anointed with Holy Spirit, he was called Jesus the Christ, the Christ meaning chosen one. So he became the Christ. At his baptism, he was not the Christ prior to his baptism. I know. Isn't that something? Okay. You learn something new every day. So when I spoke of the 70 weeks of years, I was mentioning 
67 plus 62, that's only 69. But remember, it said there was a week for the Messiah, and that Messiah will appear at the end of the 69th week, and he will remain because he'll keep the covenant in force for one week. He ceased at the middle of that week. 33 and a half years old was he, and that week was seven years. Take it in half, that's three and a half weeks. He died three and a half years into his ministry, or three and a half years after becoming the Christ. You better keep going. Sorry, it's been doing that. That's why I got it up. Okay. So that be, well, they're big files. Anyway, and they're not the fastest servers that we're downloading on. So there you go. All right. So I just had to explain that just in case somebody caught the 7 plus 69 doesn't equal, equal the 70. Needed to explain that just to make sure you understood that I was distracted, really distracted. I bunch of stuff I was trying to prepare, trying to get things going because it's a very important day for me, and I shouldn't have been doing a video anyway, and because I talked about that, I couldn't let the night go on without me correcting that fact. I did a video correcting it. Next thing you know, the video didn't populate. There was a glitch in my system, and so it didn't finish, so I had to do it again. That's me doing it again. It's after 10 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for me to get some rest because i got to get up early in the morning. So let me let you guys get some rest. Hey, good day, good night, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, may it be good. Take care of yourselves. We'll talk another time.